Question, is there a knife building culture in Bicol? Jason here for the Hagbayon channel and TMS Talks. Join me for a short chat on Bicol blade culture or blade culture in general. And also check our previous episode on uh, the various Bicol blade profiles. Minasbad, uh, Sinampalo, Ginunting, Sundang, or Baid, even the so-called Bicol Chris. Okay? If there is one because apparently uh, it's being produced somewhere there in Albay all right going back to the question uh, do we have a be called knife building culture okay do, do we really have a knife culture here in be okay now first we look at some samples of be knives for us to actually find out okay for sample is first sample is this one a bicol knife with carabao horn hilt carved as the negre with uh with carabao horn gardation okay bicol knife bicol bush knife but could very well be a smaller version of the bicol ginunting was done okay next is this one with uh, with uh, carbow horn hilt carved as kinolata with the profile uh, considered as ginugon this is a ginugon knife but could very well be just a smaller version of the bicol ginunting ginugon profile next is this one a bicol bush knife all right that I, that I actually designed and uh, this is a blade with this kind of profile but could very well be a ginunting you know uh, a tres cantos what tres cantos ginunting um, but this one has the pinaniki hilt carving and bronze what bronze hand carved Next is uh, um, this one, the smallest what the smallest uh, bicol blade in the Cimarron Armory with carabao horn hilt, carabao horn hilt carved as uh, carved as uh, tinulata with ponios, with bronze ponios. So it's a pinonio sign, but could very well be a what could very well be a smaller version or a miniature version of the Bicol Ginunting perhaps Wastari style next is this one with metal tenegre hilt made of metal alloy and this is what this is a uh, in the profile of uh, the Bicol Sundang or the Bicol Machete or the Bicol Baid. Okay. Scabbard is Marabical. Scabbard is Marabical. But could very well be the knife version or the smaller version of the Bicol Sundang or the Bicol Baid. Next is this one. This is a uh, blade with wooden hilt carved as uh, pinili or in the form of the pili fruit so it has uh, uh, what it has a uh, minasbad profile and it has gardashon no it has gardashon made of carabao horn but could very well be just a miniature what miniature or mini minus bad and lastly this one a dagger a chris a chris dagger more like a, more like a punyal with carabao horn hilt albino carabao horn hilt experts in what experts in Ilocano blades, how do you call this carving? How do you call this carving? This particular one has uh, 
This particular blade has a bronze handguard. Now, this carving is also found among blades being produced in Albay, particularly in tobacco. More so that this is a sample that came from tobacco. So, is there a knife building culture in Bicol? Apparently, there is none, unlike in some areas like the uh, uh, like in Batangas, uh, like in Batangas, where there is the culture of building the balisong, which is primordially uh, a folder or a knife, a folding knife. But here in Bicol, we only have uh, smaller versions of our full-length bolo or swords, and we consider them as our knives consider them as our knives so that's for all that's all for this episode um join me next time join me next time thank you for being with me until here be safe and next time we'll talk about the talisman culture of Biko. talisman culture of Biko. so see you next time and remember the pen is mightier with a sword